So I have this uh, project coming up where I'm going to be using uh, some hinges, but I don't have a self-centering drill bit. So I came up with an idea to use in place of it, and I wanted to share that with you. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is, this is one of the hinges I'm going to be using, and this is the drill bit I'll be using. And what I did is I took a regular writing pen, took all the guts out of it, and then what I'm going to do, sometimes depending on how the end is, if it's really pointy, you want, I just sand it off the end a little bit, and you just want to make it so that it fits in there without any slop, and it's flush with the bottom. And then what I do is I take, measure the drill bit, so this drill bit's an inch and a half long. I'm going to go about a half inch into the wood. So then what I want to do is I want to make the pen here one inch long. And that will act as a stop for me so the drill bit will go a half inch into the, into the wood. So I got this cut off now, so that's going to allow the drill bit to go into the wood the depth that I want. So then what I do is I just take this, line up my hinge where I want it to go, put the pen in there to center the drill bit, and then I just drill the hole. So it touches the pen. And there I have a centered hole into the hole for the hinge. So then I can just take the screw like that. And then once you have it all lined up where you want it, you just do the other hole. So it hits the pen. Now you have your other hole centered in the center of the hinge. So anyway, that's a, um, a quick tip I wanted to show you guys on if you don't have a self-centering drill bit, this works. So uh, thanks for watching.